The Victorians loved afternoon tea. In fact, they were totally obsessed by it. They were so obsessed that they not only used tea leaves to make tea, but they would use all kinds of meat and fish, including shellfish, and add milk to it. So what I'm going to do today is to follow a classic Victorian savoury tea recipe made with oysters, but I'm going to replace the oysters with a sea cucumber. This could be the perfect disguise. By turning my sea cucumber into a tea, I can extract every last ounce of its wonderful flavour and completely remove its unsightly appearance from the equation. I first simmer with water and a dash of allspice and filter with a vacuum pump to create a clean tea. It's like nutty note, a slight sort of seafood shellfish note. I think it's nice. Has my culinary camouflage really worked? Will people like my tea and not care where it came from? That's a fishy tea. <laughs> It's like soup. <laughs> it's quite nice. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? What is, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Sea cucumber. Oh, they look like slugs. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Serving sea cucumber in the form of a tea might just work. And I've decided to completely supersize the idea to create my own mad Victorian tea party. For the first stage, I'm going to refine the tea. So here's sea cucumber. What I've done is taken it and dried it. Drying the sea cucumber concentrates the flavour and allows me to grate it into a fine powder, which I then place in a special tea bag. The Victorians invented the tea bag, so in true Victorian spirit, it's exactly what I'm going to use here. I add small cubes of gelid sea cucumber stock. Finally, some Lapsang Souchong tea leaves will give a subtle, smoky character. And here is my Victorian-inspired sea cucumber tea bag. So, what goes with sea cucumber tea? A sea cucumber sandwich, of course. I'm going to start by making the butter for my sandwich. Victorian times, flavoured butters were all the rage. And here, I've got the gonads of a sea cucumber. This was the part I found particularly delicious at the aquarium. I mix in smoked anchovies, paprika and sustainable caviar. So there's my flavoured butter. Next stage is to make the sandwich. I spread my sea cucumber butter onto some good old white sliced bread and add some wafer thin slices of actual cucumber. The final touch for this sandwich has been inspired by a rather unusual and strangely interesting Victorian recipe that I came across. Toast sandwich. It's basically a piece of toast sandwich between two slices of bread. A bit more of my special butter goes on the toast and it's finally assembled. So here is my sea cucumber gonad toast sandwich. Perfect for any vicarage tea party.